Now, I suspect a lot of people have high hopes for the AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT video card. And I have some information here from this site, and I will link you to this site in the YouTube description down below, like I always do. Go over there and check it out. Uh, I will go over kind of like what they're saying about this particular video card. Now, these are leaks, so keep all this in mind when you are listening to me or reading the article here. But let's dive into this right now. I guess the big question here, is this video card going to be a 7900 XT or an XTX killer? Mm -hmm. Who knows, we'll have to really wait and see when it is released. But here's a screenshot uh, from GPU Z or Z confirms the key specifications are of the uh, RX 9070 XT, including the Navi 48 GPU. It has 16 gigabytes of GDDR6, so not GDDR7 VRAM. You have 256-bit memory bus, as well as 4,096 stream processors, and apparently the boost clock can go up to 3.1 gigahertz. I, I've heard reports that it can go higher than that, though. Maybe some golden samples can reach 3.3 gigahertz, but, you know, 3 to 3.3 probably, so 3.1 here. Uh, it also confirms uh, PCI Express um, 5.0 support. The card in this particular screenshot is likely a premium uh, add-in board partner, so an AIB addition due to the high boost clock. So in the Monster Hunter Wilds benchmark, it did very well actually achieving a score of 36,102 and 212 frames per second. The system was apparently using an Intel Core Ultra 9 285K and 48 gigabytes of system memory. And this article here also talks about the 4080 Super and how it is a little tiny bit faster than this one, but everything's early and, you know, it's not really comparing apples to apples because that video card used a different computer system. So please keep that in mind. This article here also alludes to the fact that AMD is going to really, really have to implement competitive pricing for this product. I mean, if this product is more expensive or around the same price as the NVIDIA RTX 5070, especially the 5070 Ti, that's not going to work. That's not going to work because I suspect the 5070 Ti will outperform this. So this card, the RX 9070 XT, needs to come in lower. And apparently that price, the MSRP for the 9070 XT is around $700 US as it stands right now, but that could change. AMD has an excellent opportunity here to really do well with this card if the card is priced well and performs well and as well the drivers are good. If they don't get that right, well, it's not going to be good.